So one other thing uh, I want to make clear, the, um, the taxiway names, or I should say the segment names, are, are always pronounced phonetically in X-Plane. So if, for instance, we wanted to put um, a taxiway here called Bravo 3, we would just type B3 and then, you know, click here and here, and press return, and, and it snaps there. Um, so there's your, uh, that's how you would name taxiways like that. A lot of, uh, a lot of airports, especially at large airports, have um, numbers in the, in the taxiway name. So you just type them in just the way you see them. Um, so one other thing we can talk about uh, is, turn on some objects here, how to deal with the terminal areas. So over here where we actually have the terminal, um, right now the problem is, uh, you know, let's say this aircraft right here, the 747, needed a taxi to 3-4 right. Um, the ATC system would pretty much draw a line from where he is now to the nearest uh, segment, and he would jump on over here somewhere, but in the process he's going to turn through buildings and, and whatnot. So we can alleviate this a little bit right now. Um, and we can do that by bringing the taxiway into uh, the terminal area. So maybe we want to bring it, um, let's see, more something like, something like that, basically. Um, and the reason this, this is okay is no matter where the aircraft is, there's a, a taxi segment right near it that doesn't require them to taxi through a building to get to. So you would obviously want to continue this on the, around the other side of the terminals. Um, now the other thing, these are not real taxiways, uh, so they really should not have any name. Um, now I've given them names just because I didn't update the, uh, the toolbar at the top, so we can select all of these. and then delete the name and then hold down option and press return and now none of these have any names. So what this means now is if we take this 747 here for example, if he needed to taxi to 34 right, he would be given this segment, but there's no name on that segment, so the taxi clearance would say taxi 34 right via Bravo because this segment has no name, this segment has no name, this segment has no name, this one has no name and this one is called Bravo. So it's going to be nameless to Bravo, so it won't pronounce anything except Bravo, which is which is what we want because they're not real taxiways. Okay, so let's say at this point you have you think you've finished your layout and you're ready to export your app.dat file um, for X-Plane to use. There's, there's one final set of steps that you should definitely do before exporting anything, and that's you should come up here to the select menu, and there's three commands you should run, which is select zero length edges, select double nodes, and select crossing edges. So if we do that now, what we're looking for is down here in the selection box, we, we're looking for nothing to show up because these, these three commands are bad when they find something. They're, they're looking for um, some mistakes in your layout. So what a zero length edge is, um, is if you have two nodes that are, that are co-located, meaning they're on top of one another, but yet they're connected by an edge, um, that's bad for the ATC system. So we're gonna click on that and see that, that we don't have any of these. Uh, the next one is selecting double nodes, which is very similar. It's it's having nodes, you know, one on top of the other, um, but these are nodes that are not necessarily connected to each other um, by an edge. And again, uh, we have no double nodes here. Now, if you do have zero length edges or double nodes in X-Plane, um, it will, if if they're used in any taxi clearances, it will trigger a, um, a an assert in X-Plane that will pop up a dialog box and pretty much terminate the, your session. Um, so we definitely want to make sure you check before exporting. And the last one is crossing edges. Now, crossing edges isn't, it's not a dangerous thing that's going to cause X-Plane to crash, but it does, it does likely mean that you've done something that you probably didn't mean to do. So I'm going to, I'm going to make some of these, um, artificially just to show you how you might get into these types of situations. So I'm going to come off to here with some open space here and I'm going to click and create an edge. I'm going to click over here and create another edge. So now let's say you, you decide to move this and you go, oh no, this should really be over here like this. So what we have now is we have two edges that cross one another, but if you notice in the middle, there's no node linking them together. So t taxi networks in, in, 
in World Editor and X-Plane are two-dimensional. They need to be two-dimensional. In this case, we can't tell if one overlaps the other or underlaps the other. There's there's no set path. There's no way from to get from this side of the edge to this side. There's no intersection to cross. You need, it, you need to go from one edge to another by crossing through a node. There always has to be a node. So if you needed to get on this side of the airport and you were over on this side, um, there's no way of doing it without this node. So if we say select crossing edges, you'll see that it, it selects out of the whole airport, it only selects these two because these two are crossing edges. So this is a bad thing. Now crossing edges, unfortunately, is a little tricky to solve because it's a multi multi-step process. So the first thing you need to do is you need to split. Um, and as we said earlier, split is an option click on an edge, and you'll see that it split it and joined it with a, with a node. Um, so we need to split it, uh, split each edge. So now we have splits, we have nodes for each. And now what we need to do is move one of these nodes um, closer here, and then move this one closer here, and join them. So now what we have is, is a joined, um, it appears to be joined anyway. So this is problem number two. So now if we say uh, select crossing edges, we don't have the problem anymore, so we're all set. But now if you say select double nodes, uh-oh, what happened is we created two nodes and then we put them on top of one another. Um, so they're co-located, which is bad. So you can see it selected both of the nodes. Now, the right way to, to join these together is to go to the edit menu and then say merge. And what it's gonna do is combine the two nodes into one um, merge the properties together and now what we have if I select this as you can see we have one node that ties all these edges together which is what we want so you can reposition this how we how we like it to be something like that and we're all set um, now zero length edges I can't off the top of my head think of any way of recreating this um, but if you have it what you'll want to do is is find the uh, find the node and delete it, which will also delete the segment that's that's joining the two nodes. Because again, there's there's just two nodes that are co-located that are joined together by a segment. If you pick any one of the nodes, it doesn't matter which, and delete it, it will delete the segment underneath. So now, if we run through these commands again, we have no um, we have no errors in the layout, and now we can do a, an export to um, to explain to use it.